You guys is were waiting us? for it. It is us. <laughs> do they? I don't want to be wrong. Do they move up to second in the Eastern Conference after the win tonight? No. No. Right? No. no. So Bucks still are 32 and 16, half a game. Okay. So half still third in the Eastern Conference. The now 32 and 17 New York Knicks. The floor is yours. I'm going to sit back. Woo! It's an A plus, and it ain't even close. Um, because originally, right, I would have given them like an A minus if we didn't make a move. But we made a move, and right now, to this point in the season, it's the move. It's the move. And we look phenomenal. What are we since the OG trade? We, we've won our last three, and Amazing we haven't had OG or Julius <laughs> Randle. So it seems like no matter what happens, we're on a nine-game win streak right now, might I add. No matter what happens, we're finding a way to win. And as a Knicks fan... It feels so damn good. And for once, honestly, I really did think after the OG trade, when Randall was healthy, I really thought, yo, this might be a title contender. Like, for real, this might be a title contender. And I don't want to put that to a team with Julius Randall. Like, I hate to say that, but Randall was playing different this season, too. He wasn't relying so much on his jump shot, which was beautiful to see. He was being far more aggressive. His passing had... Honestly, in my opinion, felt like it reached a new level. He was more decisive out of double teams and such, just from the eye test. And I have to give us an A-plus because we made a move that, again, showed clear direction and aggressiveness to improve the roster. For us to be the third seed and potentially even the second seed soon enough, man, like that is shattering the expectations of anybody. Even our wildest expectations could not have imagined this. The Knicks deserve an A+. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I also gave the Knicks an A+. Maybe a little bias there. I don't give a shit. They made the best trade all season. Um, OG has been absolutely astounding. I mean, you've all seen the plus-minus numbers online. I don't have them exactly because they were from a few games ago, but whatever. Like a plus 42 or something. <clears throat> yeah, yeah like something that. like that. Um, listen, man, the Knicks are really really good i mean like like you said tonight we beat the best offense in basketball without julius randall without og Ananobi. um and we have legitimate at at the least eastern conference finals chances especially now i hate, <laughs> I hate to say to it, but say now it, and yes. bean went down we have legitimate a legit chance to go to the eastern conference finals and i don't think they're a team you want to see because they're tough they're gritty um as far as playoff concerns though i can say whatever i want about the playoffs julius randall has a reputation to disappear when the playoffs come. I have confidence that he won't because, like you said, Matt, he's been playing a different style of basketball. He's been playing way more bully ball. And as we saw when they played the Cavs last season, when he puts his head down and plays bully ball, there's very, there's very few people who can stop him. And when he's actually decisive and makes the right decision and doesn't throw the ball to the other team and things like that, he is really good to watch. Um, and he's really good for us. Yeah, man, the Knicks have hit it out of the park. Role players have stepped up. Isaiah Hardenstein, man. He's yes. been fucking phenomenal. Might I just phenomenal. add, our front office has not made a bad move to this point. Everything that they've done has worked out. Josh Hart's been awesome for us. Dante DiVincenzo has been phenomenal and a flamethrower since recently. Julius Randle went down especially. And Isaiah Hartenstein has turned himself into one of the best centers in the NBA. Like, I hate to, I hate to have a hyperbole with it, but, like, he really has been that damn good since Mitch went out. And it just seems like everything this front office is doing right now turns to fucking They're gold. making the right move. Do so. I do want to hear from – yes, that's another one. I do want to hear from a non-Knicks fan in an unbiased perspective. On a no-Knicks hater. <laughs> yes. Same as you guys. So, funny story, actually. So, I told you Amanda's home for the weekend, so we went and grabbed food before this. She asked, you know, what are you guys doing on the pod today? And that just led to – on the <laughs> Fucking <laughs> feet. <laughs> so that led to a whole rant about Tuesday's podcast and how I'm getting shat oh on, on Twitter and everything and all that fun stuff. Yeah. We shot 40% of the field in one but, game. But she asked, she's like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, grading NBA teams. You know, it shouldn't be as rowdy as last time. And she's like, how come? And I'm like, well, the only thing that they're really going to be super passionate about is the Knicks. And honestly... I have nothing bad to say about the Knicks. The Knicks are a good team. I have nothing bad to say. In terms of a grade, 
I'll I'll go with an A plus also, man. I mean, wow. They're the third seed in the East. Hey, no, you're doing, we're doing this is so right. magical. Bro, I mean, like everything you guys said, list the bullet points. Third seed in the East. You have a guy in Jalen Brunson who, I'm going to ask you something before we move on about Jalen Brunson, <clears throat> but playing at an all-NBA level, yes. made the all-star team. You got Julius Randle. Hopefully he gets back soon because you guys need him. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. he gets back soon playing at an all-NBA level. Two or three weeks. You went out and you were aggressive and got a guy in OG Ananobi who helps immediately. We like you said, the plus minus numbers are through the roof. His and defense, best defense in the league since then. Right. His defensive impact is honestly arguably the best in the league. Yep. There's a real case to be made. I'm not saying I'd pick him, but there is a case to be made that OG Ananobi is the defensive player of the year. That's how good he's been. You know what else is scary? There's a legitimate case that another guy on this team could be defensive play. He won't. No. But no, 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 no. There's a case. Let's not get carried. No, there's not a case. Come there's on. There's a case. No, there's no. Come on, bro. See how we were good. We were good. We were giving them praise. I say. No, I, I'm, I'm aware he, of who not, you're referencing, he's, but he's not. Yeah, but yes, come on. OG. Yes, the most impactful yeah. defensive player on this team by far. Isaiah Hardenstein is never going to 26 shots anywhere from close Dante to a uh, fucking crazy. Who defensive threes. player of the year. Um, like you said, they were aggressive, went out and got OG. They, you know, saw a window that they could be competitive and make some noise, and they went out and they were aggressive. And then, like you said, all these moves around the edges, bringing in a guy, obviously that wasn't this season, but having a guy like Isaiah Hardenstein, bringing in Dante DiVincenzo in free agency, Going out and getting a guy like Josh Hart last season, you know, they've, like you said, the front office has just done everything right. The players are producing. They're bought in. It's more than just a good basketball team. They have a good basketball culture yes. for the first time in our life. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. For it's, the first was, time in our it's lives. It's a, a good dark, culture in the dark Knicks. times. Right. Who would have thought? Right. So just, if this was any other team who had a good culture— Maybe it wouldn't boost their grade as much, but because it's the Knicks and because it's been our entire lifetimes of a dog shit culture, that boosts the grade significantly for me. So, yeah, it's an A+. plus. I'll ask this before we move on. Mm. Is Jalen Brunson the third best point guard in the NBA right now? You know there's Luka. You know <sighs> there's Steph amazing. Curry. Who's that third guy? Is it Jalen Brunson? Oh. You said Luka, Steph... We're putting. We're not putting Shea, Shea as a one. Or we're putting Shea. 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 You tell me. I'm, Who's I'm the just third guy? Shea, you tell no, me. No, it's 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 yeah. not even Shea is the third guy. Shea is the second guy. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah. Right I now. honestly forgot Shea is a point guard. Yeah. yeah. Is Jalen Brunson the fourth best point guard in the NBA? There we go. Yeah. People yeah. won't flame me for that one. Yeah. Why um, not? Off the top of my head, who? Who is it? There isn't someone there's nobody you gonna throw fox at me that was the only other name i even thought out. of but yeah Jalen brunson is i'm i'm sorry but i'm taking him over. i mean i'm, with, I'm just throwing names well, out there but doing yeah, right yeah I'm, I'm taking him over and tyrese not even just obviously not even just keeping them afloat we're three and oh since randall and og have been out of the lineup and it's been Jalen by himself pretty much and I think he's had 240 he's, balls. In, in yes, that, in and that, he's still doing this with all the defensive attention possible on him. And I've never, like, I've personally never seen a guy dominate a game the way he dominates a game. At six foot one, just out of the post, pretty much. Yeah. With footwork, with floaters the whole yeah. time, and then just pulling up from, from deep and knocking everything down. Yep. Uh, look, um, yes, Jalen Brunson is the fourth best point guard in the NBA, and who was it? Candace Parker that said, uh, "He's not, um, he's not." He, what the fuck did she say? She said some stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he thought he didn't play good against. Yes, Miami? yeah, that was pretty. That, that was, was stupid. Crazy. Um, Becky Hammond. Look, I agree. I agree with her. I agree with her, I agree with her point. Fine. I agree with her point. Her point of the the whole like what she you can't win a championship with a small guard being your best That's, player. You've said unless that for it's years, Steph yeah. Curry. <laughs> yes, I've said that for years. I agree, but he's not that good. He's not. That he changes that. He's yeah. not. Okay. No, 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 no. He's not. But he definitely has proven himself to be a legitimate top tier number two, in my opinion. Right. On what could potentially be a championship team. I think Shaq made a great comparison. He said he's never seen, he hasn't seen a guy this size get what he wants as easily 
as Brunson since Allen Iverson. And I think I think but I think Brunson does it in a different way. Like Matty J said, playing in the post, backing down guys that are bigger than him. It just it doesn't make sense. Taking turnaround fadeaways at six one. I, I who does that? He's it's thick. it's just, yeah, it's just like like I've never I've never seen a a point guard, let alone like a smaller point guard, play that style of basketball. It's and it's really fun to, it really is fun to watch. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, he's the fourth Johnny best point guard in the, the league. Chat, 